Hi all, uh, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're all doing okay. Um, this, apart from the, you know, getting the simple one out of the way first, which is Susie Wolf, um, probably what I've got to say about Formula One's direction for the future is probably going to be quite controversial, but, you know, that that's as it is, you know, and this is, I'm going to tell it how I think it, it is. So, uh, Anyway, let's get into the start of this with uh, the news on Susie Wolf. So, uh, Susie Wolf has been appointed as the managing director of the F1 Academy. Uh, she had this to say: uh, "The F1 Academy will inspire women to realise there is no limit to what they can achieve." And I think they've picked a pretty good person um, to be the uh, managing director of the formula one academy because you know cc wolf has been in you know motorsports for a long time started off in karting um she was also uh, employed by williams to be a development driver uh, she made history i think it was at the 2014 british grand prix to be the first uh, female driver to complete a race weekend so it's it's a common sense choice, but the F1 community, um, you know, the fan base, Facebook, Twitter, and all those sort of social media uh, forms, forums, just seem to think that the FI, uh, sorry, Formula One, are, are just cuddling up to Toto Wolf, and this is mind mind boggling. What is going on with this Formula One fan base? It's I, I've never, ever seen anything like it, but still, you know, I think she's the right choice and fair play, you know, to her and uh, on securing that role. So, on to what is probably going to be my controversial thoughts on the direction that Formula One is heading. Now, as you can see from these pictures with the Las Vegas Grand Prix on the calendar for this year, the, it's turning this in the whole Formula One sport into a gimmick it makes me wonder if liberty media or formula one management did they learn anything from what happened at the miami grand prix last year and did they even learn anything from the uh, circuit of the americas grand prix in austin in 2017 when they first took over um, formula one from bernie ecclestone looking at this i don't think they did Formula One is turning into a gimmick and in all the years of watching this, I've grown up with Formula One, I have never seen anything that is just as ridiculous as this. Just because they're going to Las Vegas doesn't mean you have to turn the drivers into some sort of gimmicky advertising sort of thing. There's no need for this. This needs to stop. Formula One... Liberty Media, they need to start concentrating on the sport, not making it a gimmick Hollywood show first, and then um, and then, then they can play around with what they want to do in ways of advertising it, but playing it up like this is just completely way off the mark of what the sport is and the direction that Formula One is going. It's heading in a dodgy place. And they need to sort this out. So, um, yeah, there's my thoughts. You'll probably find them controversial. You'll probably disagree with me. But, you know, I think something needs to change. You know, since Liberty Media have taken over Formula One, they started to get things a little bit right. But now it's just becoming too gimmicky. It's it's ridiculous. And I think it, you know, it needs to stop. But it isn't going to because they're making money. And that's their primary concern. It's a business first. So profit will always come before the sport. And that is where they're going wrong. So anyway, feel free to tell me I'm wrong. Argue with me, whatever, in the comments. But besides that, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. And press the notif uh, notification bell. And you'll be uh, warned of any future videos that I do. But um yeah honestly your comments would be appreciated and you know you probably disagree with me but anyway till the next time take care everybody and stay safe